I'm working today on my vehicle. This is my Honda 98 Honda Core. The problem we have here is yesterday the check engine came on and I checked because and it was for a B0401 EGR insufficient flow. So when I, I cleared the code and I went to see the frequency that one is occurring and I drove it today and the vehicle today passed the, the monitor without any pending codes. I will be showing that and uh, no problems today so <clears throat> um, I, would, I already checked here and I found like the monitor was run and passed uh, with no pending codes I will be showing that here and then um, it doesn't mean how how good how bad that one passed it just mean pass the test uh, but it didn't exceed the the window, the threshold they have to, to, to flag the light. So if the, the light came on, that means we already have an issue. So what's gonna happen here is, um, I was checking the description of the code on Honda service menu and there are no saying any certain criteria for this or what they use for. So it's just showing there, <coughs> if you had the P0401, P0401 for insufficient EGR flow, uh, remove the EGR valve, clean the passage, and uh, or replace the EGR valve. That's what it. But the first step for them is clear the code, run the monitor, and see if that one can back. We can see here that the light that is, is pretty bad here where I am. But um, uh, we can see here zero codes, render complete, eight no supported seater. Uh, no complete zero, so you run all the monitors. Okay, so let me check the, the monitors. Um, so we can see the EGR monitor is here and it's saying it's passed. EGR passed, okay. I would like to see how much it passed, but it, I can't see on mod six on that t test ID and see how it passed. Um, well, I'm gonna go back here to um, the codes. I'm gonna go in generic, current codes, no codes. I'm gonna go to pending codes. no codes so this is already passed the test so now we're gonna go and test the system i will remove i will be removing the egr valve and um this is a five pings um egr valve uh, linear egr valve it's got a solenoid two wires on the bottom for the solenoid and three on the top for controlling yes for monitoring the pin to position uh, <coughs> 5 volt reference ground and, and, and reference voltage. So we're gonna go and test those things, remove the each above. I'm gonna be checking here on data, data stream. Uh, right there, for all is good. Manual selection. We're gonna select only the EGR uh, pin top position. As we can see, it is a 1.19. So I will give it. Um, I will activate the solenoid right now. I will show later what I'm doing. However, well, I'm connected here to the pink wire back probing, and I am using a test light, which is like a four amp. So that one can bypass, you know. Uh, that we won't illuminate the light but it will uh, energize it so now I'm just gonna connect here like this barely the engine you see it should almost uh, shut down but I can we can see here the EGR is showing position is showing um, 3.5 I will release that one right now so that's the position of the pinto Uh, it doesn't focus. I will remove here. See how we change. And 
you guys again. Three five. Barely the engine went down. So we have uh, currently the valve is opening, but move it. Power up. Move it. Okay. So this is what I'm doing here. What I was doing right now was this. You can see barely the engine move. Okay, so apparently the EGR valve is opening. We're gonna go and check right now the specification here, just to show that. So someone could say you didn't apply full power, so that is, that's why it didn't open complete. So I'm really sure right now what um, I have there. Uh, connected on the back probing, so uh, now I will be checking here the ground coming into the solenoid, ground coming out, waiting for a um, power side to complete the circuit. So, uh, check it that one here. I'll apply power right now with the power probe. See, same thing about 3.5 full power, engine barely. Remove it. Three five. You can even hear here. see here I, I got this um, I removed the EGR bulb and I was shaking here uh, it should be a large vacuum leak right now so I will put some seat foam here because I don't feel like uh, today I wanted to remove the intake manifold probably they have these bolts on top to remove it like this bolt here and uh, but I may I have done this before by removing the throttle body but I don't have the gasket today so I'll, I'll just put some sea foam here and hope that one uh, make it enough clean in there the carbon deposit but the theory behind it is that uh, we can see this that uh, I got plugged the uh, exhaust port and the intake port is the one all, all the time get plugged and the reason behind it is because this uh, temperature can get to uh, up to 1500 uh, degrees of Fahrenheit or more on the exhaust side and then when it changes to the <coughs> intake side there is a big drop in temperature here so that is the condensation that makes uh, build up the, um, the carbon deposit here so I'll put some sea foam here and um, uh, I hope that will make it and if it doesn't I will have to get gasket and get ready for this thing and um, I'm gonna do that right now I'll put some sea foam here Well, the reason why I plug here the exhaust port is because I didn't want to get on fire here because I'm using chemical here that could you know produce any type of uh, fire or something like that and I had to press on the here to increase the RPM and hold it here so that's what I did basically <clears throat> and um, I just put some sea foam and we're gonna recheck right now and see uh, if we got any changes if not you know like I will have to uh, remove the intake manifold because normally what the, where they plug is right here where the, the, the final area there so I couldn't get there we're gonna recheck now so I put back together everything just let me um, recheck right now I'm just gonna do this and see how the engine reacts almost stalling Thank you. 
lowers the RPM a lot comparing. Check again, do again. Almost stolen. So it's not a proper way to do it. Clean it up like that. It has to be removed the manifold, but um, at some point I will be doing it. So I will just uh, showing you know how the system works and what happened when we get that code. Almost get get it to the point like stalling 